What's up guys, Groovy Guitar Dude here with a beginner guitar tutorial for It Ain't Me by Kaigo and Selena Gomez. If this video helps you out, hit that like and subscribe button and let me know in the comments below what are the songs by Kaigo or Selena Gomez that you want to learn on guitar. Guys, the first thing you want to know to play It Ain't Me on guitar is that in order to keep this song as accurate and beginner friendly as possible, we're going to capo up to 5th fret. And if you don't have a capo, I'll link to get this capo for free right up here. The next thing that you want to know to play It Ain't Me on guitar is the structure of this song. First we're going to start out with a verse, then go to pre-chorus, then chorus, then verse, pre-chorus, chorus again, then we'll have a bridge and we'll finish up the song with one last chorus. And the last thing that you want to know before we dive into It Ain't Me is the five chords that you need to play this song. The first one is G, the next one is C, the next one is E minor, the next one is D, and the last one is D over F sharp. And I'll have short chord tutorials for all of those linked in the pinned comment below for those of you who need them. And with all that in mind, guys, let's dive into It Ain't Me. Guys, I'm super stoked to share this song. I've wanted to teach this one for a long time. I'm a huge fan of Kygo, and I really dig Selena Gomez as well. So this is a great song for beginner guitarists. The chords in here are pretty simple. The main thing that's challenging about this song is that it's pretty fast. So what I would recommend before we dive into all of this is to make sure that whenever you're practicing this, practice the parts slowly, and then work your way up to full speed with the song. Because if you try to play full speed with the song at first, right away when you learn these progressions and picking patterns and stuff, it's going to seem really, really intimidating. But if you practice slowly first, you'll get it down in no time. So with that in mind, the first thing we're going to take a look at is probably the most difficult part of the song, which is what we're playing for our verses, which is that picking pattern that probably most of you are here to learn. So that picking pattern is all going to be based around a chord progression, and we're going to have a different picking pattern that we're going to be using for each one of those chords. So first, let's take a look at the chord progressions that we're going to be basing the picking pattern around. That chord progression is going to be E minor, G, C, back to G, back to C, back to G, and back to D. And that chord progression right there is gonna repeat through all of our verses. And that's what we're gonna base our picking pattern around. Now, like I said, this looks pretty simple actually so far, and we're gonna make it a little bit more complicated with the finger picking patterns I'm about to show you, but the chord progression here is actually pretty beginner friendly, so it's nice because you can actually focus on what's being played over here, and not have to worry so much about what's being played over here because it's pretty beginner friendly. So with that in mind, let's break this down chord by chord. We're gonna start with our picking pattern for our E minor chord and our G chord. For our E minor and our G, we're gonna pick the low E and the B strings at the same time, and then we're gonna pick D, G, B. Just like that. And that's gonna be the picking pattern we're gonna be playing for our E minor chords and our G chords all through this first progression. Full speed, about like that for each one of those E minor and G chords. So next chord is a G, so we'll do that same exact picking pattern there. E and B at the same time. D, G, B, just like that. And then we're onto our first C chord. Our C chord is gonna have its own picking pattern. And for that one, we're gonna pick A and high E at the same time and then G, B, and high E, just like that. And that's gonna be the picking pattern for all of our C chords. Then we're gonna go back to G, which we have that same one, E and B at the same time, D, G, B, and then back to C again, A and E, G, B, E, and then back to G one more time. And then we got, so we got E and B at the same time, D, G, B, and then we finish up on this D chord right here. And this D one is a little bit funky, but it's not too crazy. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pick for the D chord, the D string and high E at the same time, then G, B, and high E. And then we're gonna do the same thing again, but we're gonna add a little bit of flavor to it. So we're gonna pick the D and high E at the same time, but this time we're gonna add a third fret with our pinky onto the D chord there on the high E string. And then we're gonna pull that off as soon as we pick the D and high E at the same time together. It's gonna to look like this. One more time. So it's still a basic D chord. It's still really actually playing the same thing we played for the first time through the D chord. All we're doing is that adding that third fret to second fret pull off on the high E string. So, and then we just have G, B, E. 
right after that to finish off the progression. So that's the whole thing. That's the whole picking pattern. And that probably looks pretty intimidating to beginners out there. But like I said, this is actually a pretty beginner friendly picking pattern. The main thing about this is just that it's very fast. It's played very quickly. So what I like to do with picking patterns like this that are a little bit complicated and a little bit fast is I like to do some slow playthroughs followed by some fast playthroughs that are closer to full speed with the original song. So with that in mind, slowly a couple times first through the chord progression and the picking pattern that's going to repeat through all the verses on It Ain't Me will look about like this without me talking. And a couple of times full speed through the chord progression and picking pattern, it's going to repeat through all of the verses on It Ain't Me will look about like this without me talking. And from there, guys, things start to get much easier because we just have chord progressions and strum patterns through the entire rest of the song. So with that in mind, the next thing we're going to take a look at is what we're playing for our pre-choruses and our bridge. For our pre-choruses and our bridge, we're going to have this long chord progression kind of situation, but we have a very easy strum pattern to go along with it, so that helps keep it a little bit more beginner friendly. So our chord progression for our pre-choruses is going to go kind of like this. We'll start with that first line. We'll go C, G, D. We'll do it again. C, G, D, then we're on to the next line. Then we're gonna go C, G, and then we have those underlined chords, which are a walk down. We're gonna play those for half a measure each. It's gonna go D, D over F sharp, E minor, pretty quickly. And then we go to that last line one more time, which is gonna be C, G, D. And that's gonna lead us into the chorus, depending on where you're at in the song. So you might already be able to tell, but we're just going to use a single down strum for each one of those chords. So just to kind of give you an idea of the pacing a little bit better with that, here's a little walkthrough of what that progression will look like kind of guided with the strum pattern. We're going to go C, G, D, C, G, D, second line, C, G, D, D over F sharp, D minor, C, G, D. And that last D chord will hang out until we go into the chorus. So nothing too crazy here, guys. Single down strums. The only thing that might be a little bit tricky is just getting the timing down. So I'd recommend playing that along with me or playing it along with the song or both to get that timing just right. So this only plays through once for each pre-chorus and once for the bridge, but I'm going to go ahead and play through it twice just so that you guys have a little bit more time to play along and practice along with me. So with that in mind, guys, two times through the pre-chorus and bridge chord progression with that single down strum pattern will look about like this without me talking. And finally, guys, that's going to bring us to the last thing that you need to know to play It Ain't Me, the choruses. For the choruses, we're going to have a long chord progression situation, and we're going to have an alternating strum pattern. So two different strum patterns that we're going to alternate between for each chord of the song. So I'll explain that a little bit better here in just a second. First, let's take a look at our chord progression. For our chord progression, we're going to play E minor, G, D, 
and then C. And then the second line will be E minor, G, D, and then D again. And then we're on to those bottom two lines. We've got C, G, E minor, D, and then last line, C, G, D, and D. And that's going to repeat through all of the choruses on It Ain't Me, that whole thing. And I know that looks like a lot. It's kind of a lot to remember, so be sure to kind of take a screenshot of that or maybe take some notes or something like that. I always take notes to kind of help me remember what I need to play and where I'm at in the song and stuff. So with that in mind, we're going to have two different strum patterns that we're going to alternate between. The first strum pattern, we're going to play for every first and third chord in the progression. And the second strum pattern, we're going to play for every second and fourth chord in the progression. It sounds a little bit complicated and tricky, but once you get the hang of it and find the groove of it and the feel of it, it'll actually flow pretty well. So with that in mind, let's take a look at these strum patterns and break this down chord by chord. The first strum pattern we're going to be using, which is going to be for all the first and third chords in each progression, is going to be just down, down, or closer to full speed, about like that. Then we go on to that second chord, the G chord. So this is going to be for the strum pattern for all of the second and fourth chords in the progression. This one is going to go up, up, down, 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 up, or closer to full speed, about like that. And that is going to be our two strum patterns that we're going to be using for this whole entire progression. It's an alternating strum pattern. So each first and third chord get down, down, and then each second and fourth chord get up, up, down, 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 up just about like that. So let's keep walking through the whole progression here. We'll break it down chord by chord. Next, we're onto that D chord in the first line. We go down, down, then C on the first line, up, up, down, 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 up. Next line, we got E minor, first chord, down, down, then G, up, up, down, 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 up, D, down, down, and then we go to that D for two measures. The second time we go through the D, we do the, the fourth chord, the second and fourth chord strum pattern. So up, up, down, 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 up on that second D chord in the second line. Then we're gonna go on to the third line. We got C, down, down, then G, up, up, down, 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 up, E minor, down, down, D, up, up, down, 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 up. Then we're on to the fourth line. We've got C, down, down, G, up, up, down, 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 up, D, down, down, then last chord there again, two measures, second measure, we're gonna play up, up, down, 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 up, just like that. And that's gonna repeat through all of the choruses on It Ain't Me. So with all that in mind, guys, a couple times through the chord progressions and the two strum patterns, they're gonna repeat all the way through all the choruses on It Ain't Me will look about like this without me talking. Guys, that is everything you should need to know to play It Ain't Me on guitar. As always, if you have any questions, you can hit me up in the comments down below. I'm usually pretty quick getting back to those. And again, if this video helps you out, hit that subscribe button. I have about 900 other guitar and ukulele lessons on this channel, and I usually try to post at least three to five new lessons every single week. So if you're learning guitar or ukulele, there could not be a more perfect channel for you to check out. Hit up my Instagram, at the Groovy Guitar Dude, if you want to see what I'm up to in between lessons and drop off some song requests. And lastly, guys, if you need a little extra help with this song or any other aspect of beginner guitar, you can hit up this link right up here to book a one-on-one -on -one lesson with me. Guys, I'm stoked to be sharing It Ain't Me with you guys today. This is a great song. It's got a great picking pattern that plays through the verses and the chord progressions, even though they're more based on piano for the pre-chorus and the bridge and the chorus, even though those are more piano based, they're really fun to play on guitar as well, like you probably have seen already if you've gotten this far in the video. So guys, this is a great song. It's a really good one for beginners too. I know this seems like it's a little tricky. I know this one seems like it's probably more challenging than it actually is, but it is one of those songs that's easier to play than it sounds. The biggest thing is that it's fast. It's just really fast. So if you can get all the guitar parts down, which it's mostly easy chords and chord progressions and pretty straightforward picking patterns as well. If you can get those things down slowly, all you got to do is just work up your speed because it is fast, but nothing that we're playing in this song is too terribly complicated. So guys, I had a lot of fun learning this song. I hope you guys have a lot of fun learning it as well. I hope you have a wonderful day. I'll see y'all soon.